In this tutorial, we're going to think about some of the very broad principles of organisation which we need to be aware of when thinking about the somatosensory system. Uh, and first of all, we need to remind ourselves what we mean by the somatosensory system. Uh, and the somatosensory system effectively is that system which carries conscious sensation from the body wall. And in this case, the body wall, what we mean by that is the skin, um, the lining of the pharynx and the oral cavity, um, the mucosa of the anus, for example, um, and even the um, parietal pleura and the parietal peritoneum. So these are all served by the somatosensory system, and these principles apply to those regions and how they're innovated. So let's start off um, by just showing you in very broad terms the pathway through which sensory information goes from the body wall up to the brain. And this is conveyed by a chain of three neurons. So out in the periphery we have a receptor. So this might be on the skin for example, it might be a pain receptor or it might be um, a, a scent temperature sensor, something like that. And that receptor um, is supplied by a sensory neuron uh, and that sensory neuron has its cell body here within a sensory ganglion okay so this is a sensory ganglion typically a dorsal root ganglion a DRG but it could be the trigeminal ganglion um, providing sensation to the face and we call this um, neuron, the first neuron in the chain, the first order neuron or the primary sensory neuron, the first order neuron. Now the first order neuron projects into the central nervous system. So actually um, what we've got here, this here is the boundary between the peripheral nervous system and the central nervous system. Okay, and it is this first order or primary sensory neuron which crosses that boundary and enters into the central nervous system. And once the first order neuron enters the central nervous system, it synapses upon what we call our second order neuron. Okay, our second order neuron. Um, and our second order neuron lives. Um, entirely within the uh, central nervous system and I'm just going to delete a little bit of it actually make it taxon a little shorter because the second order neuron does something very interesting and very important and what it does in all cases when we're considering the somatosensory system is that the second order neuron crosses the midline okay so this here if we think of this dotted line here in black as the midline, the second order neuron crosses the midline. So if the first order neuron entered on the left side of the cord, its corresponding second order neuron would project across the midline into the right side of the central nervous system. And the second order neuron projects um, from the um, spinal cord or the brain stem Okay, so the cell body of this second order neuron is found either in the um, cord or the brain stem. And in all cases, the second order neuron projects onto a third order neuron, which is found in the thalamus. Okay. So here is our third order neuron cell body, which is found in the thalamus, in the brain. And it is the third order neurons which ultimately project up to the cerebral cortex. And it's in the somatosensory cortex um, and other parts of the cortex where conscious perception of sensation occurs via a process which at the moment is completely mysterious to us. We don't understand this conscious perception at all. So let's quickly recap what we've covered. 
We've talked about a sensory receptor out in the body wall, and the body wall could be the skin, um, or, for example, the, the mouth mucosa. Could be a receptor for cold or pain, something like that. Information from the receptor goes along the, sent along the axon of our first order neuron, whose cell body is in the dorsal root ganglion, typically. And this first order neuron crosses over from the peripheral nervous system into the central nervous system. So this first order neuron projects into the central nervous system, where its synapses upon a second order neuron. Those second order neurons are typically found in the spinal cord, but they're also found in the brainstem. The interesting thing about the second order neuron is it crosses the midline, going to the contralateral side, where it projects up to the thalamus. And in the thalamus, we find the third order neurons. And it's the role of the third order neurons in the thalamus, otherwise known as thalamocortical neurons, to project to the cerebral cortex, and in this case, primarily the primary sensory cortex, where perception begins to occur. So that's all I'm going to say about the very basic aspects of organisation of the sensory systems.